every time we have to get crazy like that. And anyway, this one has been buried in our stash of spicy for quite some time. So in a secret location, we have a huge stash of spicy products. Some challenges, some spicy things, some not so spicy things. So this is one of the last of the flaming hots we haven't done, and yet it's a classic. It's flaming hot Lay's regular Lay's potato chips, but flaming hot. And this is like one of the more rare ones because we just saw this a couple of times and picked it up. But flaming hot Lay's. So Lay's are a classic potato chip, and they are flaming hot here. And we just heard in the news that California's trying to nick soap, maybe some flaming hots and stuff because of the coloring. Although this one, the ingredients on this one look pretty, pretty natural. It says no, uh, no artificial flavors and it looks pretty good. But yeah, they're after the Cheetos and hopefully flaming hots never get banned because they're just classic. Especially for average people wanting to train their heat tolerance. I feel like they could probably do flaming hot without the dyes, though. Yeah, with maybe changing a few ingredients if need be. But let's go ahead and try one of the classics of flaming hot Lay's hey. potato chips. Hey. It's fun. Uh, All right, grab a, grab a few. Aww. Grab a one, grab a two, grab a three. Grab one. All right, let's just grab one for the taste. Here it is. So it looks like your classic potato chip with the flaming hot outside. All right, cheers. Awesome. So that's cheating again. I ate three already. Three? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Mm. It's still crispy. Even though they were in our stash for quite some time. But the bag was sealed, so that makes a difference, too. Ooh. Oh. A little hotter than I expected. Although, flaming hots can get pretty hot sometimes. I mean... I don't know what else I can say. It is just advertised. It's your standard Lay's potato chip coated in that flaming hot seasoning. So you get that flaming hot flavor on a Lay's potato chip. And that's a good snack. And the heat's a little bit hotter than what I expected. I mean, not overly hot. But it might be about, what, a five to six for an average person if you, like, snack on them for a while. Yeah, it's like that average flaming Hot heat. Mm-hmm. Probably about average flaming Hot heat would probably be about five or six for an average person. If you take the time to really snack on them. Hey, Sheila, whoa! <laughs> Where'd he come from? Oh, I don't know if that's a mosquito or like a lake flake. Uh, mm -hmm. I think it's a skeeter. Did a skeeter get in here? Well, if the Trump likes a little go towards the bug trap. Mm. By the way, there was a other crazy bug that got stuck on the bug trap. Mm. Mm. What? Mm. Mm. Obviously, as you can see, they're a good snack. Um... I mean, that Lay's potato chip has a pretty standard potato chip flavor. Not too much for flavor. So therefore, based on chips and snacks, they're not going to be quite as good as, like, your flaming Hot Cheetos. Probably not quite as good as your flaming Hot Doritos. Um, in comparison to other flaming Hots, they aren't bad. They're very snackable. But just in comparison to the other ones, I would give it like a 7.5 on flavor, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and then heat-wise, like, depending on the heat scale level for people, a 5 to 6 for heat for an average person. 
What would you guys say? Other than just snacking nonstop, any comments or reading skills for YouTube? Um. Oh yeah, by the way. Hi, kitties! Hi! And what is your reading or commentary on them? Um, for he, I'm good at a bottom to six like you. Okay, heat scale six and flavor scale. I said five to six, not six. Okay. So same as me for heat. Um, yeah. And flavor scale. Flavor scale. I give a nine point five. Nine point five. Awesome sauce. Heat or flavor. Heat on. Um, Comments or ratings. Five point six. For heat. Okay, so everybody's got that five to six range for heat and then flavor. Commentary. Eight point five. Eight point five. All right. So. And as you can see, you can always tell by watching us if we stop or keep snacking. Snackability is good on these, even though they're not, maybe not as high as some of the other Flamin' Hots. But and they're pretty old. They're don't, still good. Don't eat them all. That's not good. All right. So we're going to take it away and take it. And try them out if you can find them. They were a little bit harder to find than some of the other natural Flamin' Hots. Ooh. But Flamin' yes. Hot Lays, <laughs> nice snack. Flaming hot is natural? I'm not. I'm fine. What? Are you to get that much of a burn? Is somebody's heat tolerance a little bit? No, better? it's not. Okay, just giving you a hard time. All right, so Flaming Hot Lay is a good <laughs> snack. Try them out if you can find them. Have a great weekend, great holiday weekend here in the States, and we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.